Okay guys, so as you can see here we've got the uh, the vacuum tube Tesla coil again, Vostok 2.0 this time because we've added an extra vacuum tube. So we've now got two 811As in there. Uh, also we have a fan on the microwave oven transformer here. But that is just to keep it cool because I'm only running an 850 watt microwave oven transformer. And also we've doubled the capacitance, so we've gone for the original 940 uh, peak of farads to now I've got 1.88 uh, nanofarads now. So I've doubled the capacitance which also brings the primary turns down um, on the primary coil there. It's probably about about three or four turns there so I've, I've got a, a wider gap now between my primary coil and my grid coil which is good you want to have that wide gap in there. Uh, 35 mil is ideal. At the moment I'm running about 15 but I can get rid of a few turns just now anyway so that'll be good. And um, other changes I've also moved the uh, the grid uh, coil here. I put that on the 45, stuck them over the back, also with the capacitor. I've still yet to make that bit adjustable, so maybe uh, soon I'll be doing that. And that's just about it, really. Just uh, rearranged it a bit, but it's in tune now, so you'll see that this will be uh, this will be running quite a nice output now. I've also got the oscilloscope over the back there and the frequency counter, so you can see the, the waveform which is a nice sinusoidal waveform uh, but the frequency counter guys don't pay much attention to it because I know it's, it's getting confused between the 50 Hz which this emits and also there's about the, uh, the 300, 320 to about 400 kilohertz also this, uh, this actually runs at its uh, resonant frequency is around about that 360 kilohertz is about normal yeah, I've been tuning it so it changes a little bit with the tuning but last time I checked it was about 360 kilohertz. So, yep, uh, I'll dim the lights, guys, so you can see you can see what we've got a bit better. Right, I've got an ammeter over here, so I'm not what I'm doing. And, uh, yeah, so we've got the, uh, the variac on this board over here, so we'll throw it up. As you can see, we've already got a waveform on the variac, it's already oscillating. Oscillates at about 10% input voltage, actually, which is quite good. Got 135 ish kilohertz, it'll grow with the input voltage. We should get it. There you go. That's firing now. That's firing up. 80%. 90%. About 100%. So, yeah, that's getting a pretty good, uh, getting a pretty good, uh, probably about 8 or 9 inches off that, I recall, looking at. A good healthy 8 inches off that at 100% input. About it's running about 6 amps currently, and it's pretty quiet. Like, most you can hear is a 50 hertz, but it's a nice, nice 50 hertz. And you can see the waveform over on the oscilloscope over there. Uh, the oscilloscope, you can see that's about the 360 kilohertz frequency. Those pockets, sinusoidal. And also the frequency count is saying about 145, but we know that's lying. I've already proven that's lying, but it's interesting to see it running anyway. Which is good. But yeah, that's it. That's it going pretty much, guys. We've got about 8 inch arc of that. That's not measured, by the way. It might not be quite, or it might be just a bit over. But I say it's about 200 mil, 8 inches. Thereabouts. But um, yeah, running about 6 amps still. That's running quite nicely. The outfit is nice and dingy still. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, that'll, that'll get, get a few inches off your hands anyway. If you've got itchy hands, that solves it pretty nice. So, um, yeah, this, this variac will actually run up to 115%, so I can I can take it up to about 115% for a small amount of time, guys. So I'll just ramp it up now, throw that out. That's I'm in nicely now. That's a nice piece of sauce off that. This isn't running with a staccato at all, by the way, guys. It's just, it's just, it's just two vacuum tubes just running out normally. So that's running about 115, 15%, sorry, 115%. And I can slide, there's a slight bit of a, uh, a reddish sort of glow on the tubes. So I'll take that back down now. Take that back down. About six amps again. So yeah, that reddish glow is already gone now from the uh, from the vacuum tube anodes. So yeah, that's it running, guys. Pretty happy.
but the air from the transformer I can feel that's pretty cold still so that's not too bad. So not a problem there. Put the lights back on so you see it running in the light. There we go. Pretty cool. Yeah, running nice and cool. Not hot at all. So yeah, I'll turn that down. Turn the filament transformer down as well. Leave the fan running so it will at least cool it off nicely. Yeah, that fan will carry on for a bit now just to let that cool down. Yeah, the filament transfer, uh, not the filament transfer, so the, the MOT is just warm at the moment, so I'll just let that cool down for a bit. But yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. That's uh, as good as I can get with two 811 vacuum tubes. There isn't actually much difference between one vacuum tube and two different uh, two tubes. There's not much of a difference in the actual height. All it means is I can just run the trans. I can run this variac up to 115 for a bit longer and the fan over the back there for the MOT means that the MOT can also take it for a little bit longer as well but obviously not for too long but yeah it's uh, it's handier to have two vacuum tube it just gives you that little bit of headroom that you, you need just to keep it from running a little bit too hot just balances things out keeps the loading off stuff but the, uh, the staccato will be the way to go really because that'll take the duty cycle actually down quite a bit I can already do that with this is this little uh, resistor here. If I was to make that a variable resistor, then I can change the duty cycle a little bit with the grid, the actual grid timing on that a little bit. But the staccato is pretty much the way to go, so I probably won't touch that. Obviously, you can do it electronically now with the staccato. Just waiting for the track to get here, then that'll be that'll be interesting. So I can start running that. It'll be quite interesting to do. Get some big big swords off it. Maybe twice the output. We'll, we'll see. Fingers crossed. So, yep, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. So, um, yeah, I hope you all enjoyed watching uh, this uh, 811 Vacuum 2 project. So far, it's uh, looking pretty good. And, uh, yeah, it'll be interesting to see the Staccato, actually, when we, uh, when we put it in the circuit, see how much of an improvement that makes. But, again, guys, I can't uh, stress that making putting two tubes in doesn't seem to have much output difference in voltage. It seems to be more to do with, actually, the, the power dissipation over the tubes. It helps them a bit really to have a buddy next to them. Team working there. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty much it guys. So yeah, uh, I'll see you all, all next time in the next video. And yeah, we'll have some more interesting things then. So yeah, hope you all enjoyed and see you all again. Okay, cheers.